Ah, oh, you surprised me. I'm glad to see you. I would have hoped they would have sent more than just one guy, though. I've been studying one of the specimens we brought back to see if there's something physiological that would be... I'm gonna stay here and keep working. Yeah, I'll upload my findings into the database. To assist Dr. Malcolm Betruger in a variety of experiments, though for the past year we've been focusing almost exclusively on teleportation. I don't know if I'll make it out of here alive, so I'm recording this video long to let someone know what happened. And with that knowledge, prevent it from Creating a new science. are broken down at the quantum level, transported, and then assembled. Each stage of the process should have been instantaneous, but it, it wasn't. And we didn't know why. We sent a video drone through and were shocked at the images he sent back. Just a few frames of video right before the drone Welcome came to back, the Delta Complex Stasis Chambers. To be this facility was constructed to house and study the extra dimensional being. Welcome to the UAC Maintenance the Department. Teleported this video will provide you with the necessary tools and information to do your job efficiently and safely. A safe worker is a happy worker, and your safety is our number one priority at UAC. Observe all signs and follow all procedures to keep you and your co-workers out of harm's way. Cleanup is one of the most important aspects of what we do in maintenance. This phase of our job keeps everyone safe, and research has shown that working in a clean and toxic-free environment has a positive benefit on overall productivity. Power generation on Mars produces two byproducts. Steam and green fuel. We vent the steam all over the base through vents, floor grates, cleverly placed pipes, and pretty much any place else. The goo is a result of the MFS process reacting with core elements in the Martian soil. It is not radioactive, but it is quite toxic. Remove all toxic spills at once. Hazmat suits are the best way to protect yourself when a spill occurs. And if you happen to come in contact with the goo, report immediately to a medical station for a scrub down. After a few days in confinement, you should be ready to report back to work. Report any rule violations to your immediate supervisor. And don't forget to read your employee handbook for additional rules and information.
Welcome to Mars, Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint you with a few of the standard operating procedures here on the Mars post. First and foremost, the chain of command. All enlisted personnel are under the command of Master Sergeant Thomas Kelly. Sergeant Kelly will assign you to a security detail headed by a security chief. Please report to your security chief for all duty-related concerns. While on duty, please stay on your assigned patrol coverage area. All PCAs have been pre-designated to provide overlapping security and maximize efficiency. All personnel must have proper authorization in assigned areas. Be sure to annotate any discrepancies on your security inspection report. Safety is integral to all operations here on Mars. Handle firearms with extreme caution. I have never discharge weapons in an area that may compromise the installation's structural integrity. Remembering these procedures is paramount to your success here on Mars. Keep in mind that you represent the greatest fighting force in the galaxy, and your actions are a reflection on the core. Take good care, and good luck on your new assignment. This is the audio log of Research Director Larry Bullman, October 19th, 2145. I've been examining the glyphs on the cube-shaped artifact, which some are calling the Soul Cube, and combined with previous research data, it is my conclusion the device is some sort of weapon. Uh, if the power fluctuations would stop long enough for me to get the linguistic CPU online, then I am sure my theory would be verified. You know, I'll take this opportunity to lodge yet another complaint about the continual power problems. Living in this godforsaken base is bad enough without having to watch the lights flicker constantly. It's just... Well, never mind. Back to the task at hand. What I've deciphered so far is a bit, I must say, disturbing. It seems that when one has possession of the artifact, if one inflicts damage or possibly kills another being, it extracts power from that event somehow. Now, once a certain threshold has been reached, the artifact has the ability to kill anything you attack with it. How you attack with it, I'm frankly not certain, indicating that the artifact is autonomous in some way. To date, I've only deciphered about mm, two-thirds, give or take, of the markings, but my initial glance at the rest of them indicates it harbors some far greater power. As you know, at this time, we have not seen any reaction from the cube, and it has withstood any scanning, abrasion, or other test beyond picking it up and examining it. I suspect that just like the civilization that constructed it, its capabilities are diminished to the point of being useful only as a paperweight. End of log.
This is the personal audio log of Dr. Frank Serrano, dated September 19th, 2145. I've been brainstorming on Petruger's thoughts about achieving sustained, uninterrupted transfers for the teleportation units. Destroy! Them. Our systems can only build enough of a charge to have the portals open for approximately 10 to 15 seconds. It's enough time to get a team but not enough time to send in some of the heavy armor. Engineering and info facility informed me that we can theoretically push the engine portal down to 45 seconds quite easily. But this will require rerouting power from central processing, and we just can't afford the downtime. Power requirements for the system are astronomical. Decontamination chamber We're sucking power sequence from three initiated. things in Impro just to power chamber one. I have no idea how we can sustain transfer to all the central sectors. This is Dr. Frank Serrano signing off. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. This is the audio log of Administrative Assistant Bundy, dated October 6, 2125. Why is it that I keep getting the crummy jobs? Armor Corps 1st Platoon and 1st Science Team were completely wiped out this morning on their second excursion. And I am the one charged with writing up the reports and sending this information back to Earth and next of kin. <sighs> so here I am. First cup of coffee for the day. Five hours of sleep the night before, no shower, and I have 20 dead bodies to fill out paperwork on. I haven't seen the actual corpses, but word coming down from the great fire says that looks like they have been hacked up pretty good. Cool. This says everyone on the base spooked. The trooper is nowhere to be found, and there are a lot of questions being asked with no answers from them. Soon the next outcome is Sounds like they weren't taking any chances on this next trip with them packing that kind of firepower. This is the audio log of Administrative Assistant Han Li, dated October 20th, 2145. Just when I thought this job couldn't get much worse, it did. Delta scientists sent another group of researchers through the portal two days ago and they failed to return at the scheduled time. Radio transmissions to the research body have gone unanswered. Even our LZ tracking systems can't find them. We fear that they are dead. Losing lives is one thing, but losing our proprietary technologies is another. The team was equipped with the newest BFG weaponry. We fear those guns may have fallen into the hands of those that kill them. Please select We don't know who or what is behind that portal. But until we find out where our guns are, Pad I'm one. suggesting select we stop operations. Two. Selected. Thank you. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. My patience for you is wearing thin. Look around you, Marine. Everyone is dead, and soon you will join them. Excellent. 
Access granted. Please select teleport destination. Pad 2 selected. Warning, chamber malfunction. Decontamination chamber sequence initiated.
Decontamination process started. Primary system failure. System shutdown. Backup systems online. Stop him! Maintenance personnel needed in chamber three. Selected. Selected. Decontamination chamber sequence initiated. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Pad 2 selected. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day.
Decontamination chamber sequence initiated. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Pad two selected. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Three selected. Making progress, Marine? Your journey is futile. You will die, and your soul will be mine. <laughs> you will never find the thing you seek. It is trapped in hell forever.
Your soul burns in hell! 